Hello, this is Mr. Warwick. I'm here to talk to you about lesson 9-3, which is over rotation. Um, in this one, again, we're doing a symmetrical transformation. We've, we've looked at some of this before. We're talking about taking an object and we are rotating it. So it is still going to be congruent uh, to what it is that we started with. It's just going to look a little bit different. In this case, you need to make sure you have down in your notes the center of rotation. The center of rotation is a fixed point to rotate around, and usually when you're talking about this, when you're working these problems, they're going to be dealing with the coordinate plane, and they're going to be talking about the origin as the center. It makes it a lot easier for everyone to move forward with that and get a lot of good practice as opposed to some of the other points. The angle of rotation is how far around in a circle the shape is rotated. So the first thing they're going to ask you to do, just like on some of the others, is to draw it so if I have my shape here where it's A, B, C and here's my point they usually call this one K and I'm supposed to rotate it 90 degrees what I would do in this case is is measure out 90 degrees so I'm going to approximate that here but you'll need to make sure you're using the compass and uh, the protractors to do this those are over on my desk um, and once we have that we rotate each point across that 90 degrees. Um, so in this case, uh, from here, we make that 90 degrees and it's gonna be um, up like that. From here, we make the 90 degrees and it's gonna be out here. And from here, we make the 90 degrees, it's gonna be up here. So our shape then becomes this with uh, this point being my A prime, this point being my B prime, and this point here being my C prime. So I've rotated all three of those around that 90 degree axis. You may want to take a look or uh, get a good example or a little more precise example from page 640 in the book on how to do some of the drawings for the lesson. On page 641, this is more of the stuff that you're going to be asked to do, which is finding it more mathematically. Um, and this, again, it's detailed really well on page 641. I'm just going to talk you through it a little bit here. Uh, these are all counterclockwise, so if it tells you clockwise, you have to kind of reverse these in your mind, except for the 180. If we rotate 90 degrees counterclockwise, the clock turns like this, top to the right, so we go backwards to the left, uh, we have that XY, and our new point becomes negative y x. So if, for example, like this, the, one of the points on that one was, were 2, 3, if we rotate 90 degrees counterclockwise, it's going to be negative 3, 2. Okay? We switch the location of the x and y, and, and then we're going to make the y negative. If we rotate 180 degrees, we're going all the way backwards, so we swap them. So again, if we're dealing with something like 2, 3, it becomes negative 3 comma negative 2. So you can see we went from 1, 2, 1, 2, 3 up here to a 1, 2, 3, 1, 2. Now keep in mind, this is just how you are moving the points. This is not a new x and y here where the x is the second one. We still do it just the same. Okay, so we're talking about the same distance from that origin. It's just rotated around. Um, on two, 270 degrees, that would be 90, 180, 270, around like that, it becomes y and negative x. So again, if we have 2, 3, it becomes 3, negative 2. So you can kind of follow that around and see where it comes to. It makes a lot more sense when you're looking at every single point. So I would say on these, if they just give you the numbers, go ahead and sketch a quick Cartesian coordinate. Um, plot it out on the coordinates, put that shape up there, and then do the full rotation. Make sure it still looks like the same shape. If it doesn't look like the same shape, you could be in some serious trouble for this one. Okay? Uh, the problems that I would like you to do for this... We'll do 5 through 8. That's the, the drawing one, so you will need the, the compass. We'll do 11 through 13. Uh, make sure you're paying pretty close attention on those. Talking about how far does it have to rotate to make the exact same shape 
if we have a square to make the exact same shape, it would have to rotate 90 degrees uh, and then it would be back to the same. Um, if we have a, uh, a pentagon and it's a regular pentagon, it would only have to rotate, it's, it's not gonna have to rotate the full 90 degrees. It's gonna rotate like 72 degrees. So make sure you understand how to calculate that, how many times it's gonna be the same, kind of divide that out. Uh, if you have questions on that, make sure to you know, bring that up, ask me when I come back. And then we'll work 16 through 32. And then we'll do 36 as well. So five through eight, 11 through 13, 16 through 32, and then number 36. Again, if you have questions over this, you didn't understand some part of it, make sure to come in, tutorials come in during lunchtime, ask during class, whatever it is that you need to do to get this figured out, and we'll see you in class.